It's getting to the time of year where you may well want to consider fitting mud guards onto your bike. But what if, like me, you've been blasting around all summer enjoying riding really fast everywhere? Well, you may well be slightly apprehensive that if you fit mud guards to your bike, they're going to slow you down. So in this video, I'm going to put it to the test and see if mud guards really do slow you down all that much. this video simple, short and to the point. I'm going to go out, ride my bike, I'm going to go through three different sections of road. I'm going to do a slightly longer but slower paced climb. I'm going to ride a super fast descent doing no pedalling whatsoever and then I'm going to do a fairly longer flatter section of course. I'm going to time myself across each of those three sections then I'm going to zoom back to GCN Megabase aka my house and then I'm going to fit the mud guards onto my bike and then I'm going to head out and complete exactly the same experiment, riding in the same body position, riding the same controlled power, and I'm gonna see how much difference, and if there's a difference, in the time. I suppose I should just head out, get kitted up, and um, hit the road. See you in a bit. So I finished my first lap with uh, no mud guards, as you can see. I don't know why I did it that way around, because my bike's got filthy dirty already. So I'm going to fit some mud guards onto my Canyon Grail. They are Canyon specific mud guards. It's kind of going to look a bit weird, really. I've got mud guards on my bike, but it's all still muddy. Anyway, who cares? Um, cue some sort of time lapse of me fitting my mud guards on. See you in a bit. Oh, right, I've made it back to GCN Mega Race for the day, my house. Got my little setup back in order again after dismantling it all to use the garage to fit my mud guards. But anyway, I've got the results of my experiment here in front of me, written down on my notepad in um, my very neatest handwriting. So let me run you through the results. On the first run, with no mud guards fitted to my bike, I rode the climb in a time of eight minutes and 14 seconds. I did the descent in one minute, 18 seconds, and I rode through the flat section in eight minutes and 30 seconds. Now, I hit exactly the power target that I wanted to do on the climb and the flat. So on the climb, I rode at a controlled 250 watts. And then on the flat section of my course or route, I did 200 watts. So then I headed back, fitted my mud guards on, had a little bit of a time lapse to show that I was doing that. And then the times with the mud guards fitted are as follows. So on the climb, I did 8 minutes 16 seconds, so just 2 seconds slower. On the descent, I did 1 minute 22 seconds, so 4 seconds slower on the descent with mud guards. And then on the flat, 8 minutes 33, so 3 seconds slower on the flat. And across all of those... Um, sections of my route or course that I was riding on, my target powers were all within one watt of each other. So I can't even blame myself for riding harder or easier on some of the different tests. But what it does highlight is that when you're riding at your average speeds and not trying to go as fast as possible, the difference between having mud guards fitted to your bike or not, it's next to nothing really. It's certainly nothing to worry about. I mean, sure, if you've maybe got an all-out aero road bike and you're trying to ride as fast as possible or your winter rides regularly turn into a bit of a race, then yes, mud guards are going to slow you down a little bit because obviously the faster you ride, the bigger the impact of having the mud guards on your bike is going to be. But certainly for the speeds that I ride at, it's not really going to have much of an impact whatsoever and certainly nothing to be concerned about. So I wouldn't even hesitate fitting mud guards to my bike and just leaving them on throughout the winter. So if I were you, 
Don't worry about fitting mud guards to your bike. It's not going to be that detrimental to your speed. However, if you do have a super aero bike, well, firstly, you're going to struggle to fit mud guards anyway. And secondly, it will slow you down a little bit more than the results of the experiment on my bike because I was riding a gravel bike with big chunky tires. So there you go, mud guards do slow you down, but just the tiniest little bit, and it's certainly nothing to be concerned about. Hope you found this video interesting and helpful. If you have, please give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments section down below if it's changed your perception of mud guards and whether you're gonna go and fit mud guards to your bike next weekend. All right, that's it from me. See you next time.